In fact, Mexico has agreed to this asylum change where uh, a, a Central American would have to claim asylum in the first country he stepped foot in, as opposed to going through Mexico and then claiming asylum in the United States. This is very significant. President Trump tweeted out earlier that uh, he was quoting Lindsey Graham that, that Mexico is actually doing more to help the border chaos than Democrats in Congress. Would you agree? I do. There, there are a, a small handful of Democrats that are working really hard to try to make something happen. But what's happening is, is their voice is getting drowned out by the majority of the Democrats, and that's hurting the entire system. There are people that want to, that want to do what's right and take care of the border and, and secure this border so that we don't have to continue talking about this. But again, for politics, for that base, the majority of the Democrats are, are saying that, no, we're wrong, that, you know, they originally said that, that this was a made-up um, crisis, that right. it was in President right. Trump's head, but certainly it just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger to where they had to admit that it was a crisis. So they're going to have to pay the piper at some point, and, and frankly, it's going to help the Republicans and going to help President Trump. You represent 16,000 border agents. I don't think there's a man in the United States who represents as many people right on the border as you do. Uh, have, have any of the Democrats who are opposed to the president's policies approached you and said, what's the best way to fix the border chaos? The opposition, absolutely not. Again, there, there are a handful of Democrats that have approached us, that have spoken with us, but those that are opposed to President Trump, absolutely not. And they won't because they know what the answers they're going to get because they know what the truth is. And they don't want to admit the truth because if they do that, then they have to give us the funding that, they, that we need. They have to put the pressure and they have to agree that the president was right. They will never do. That. Now, final question on Mexico. Uh, we have seen some feints by Mexico before. That is, it looks as though they're going the right direction, then they don't follow through. Uh, trust but verify is an old phrase Absolutely. that we use in situations like this. Do you believe the Mexicans will follow through this time? I do simply because the tariff threat still hangs over their head. Those tariffs, tariffs are economically crippling. It will hurt their economy to where they won't be able to recover. And because the president did not completely and totally remove those tariffs and the threat still hangs over their head, they will do what they need to do. Brandon and we should mention, by the way, you don't only represent those 16,000 border agents. You are still a border agent. You yes. still do the, the work down there. So thank you for that, Thank job. you. Brandon Judd. Well, Border Patrol facing another problem, this time over a data breach. The agency says photos of travelers and license plates snapped at U.S. Border Control Point have been hacked.